is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks. For today's beat making video, we're gonna be doing the smooth sounds with Johnny J, a legendary producer who always collab with Tupac. Now, the twist for today's video is I'm gonna actually use the AI and, you know, use my own voice, and then I'm gonna run it through the AI and have it come out sounding like Tupac, and we're gonna kind of create our own song for this track. We're gonna make the beat, and then we're gonna add the vocals on top of that. So, this should be a very interesting one. I never used AI before, but I found like a simple website where you can do it. So hopefully it comes out dope. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, and I hope everybody enjoys this beat making video. Let's go. Now it's time for that melody. Of course, we stand in the lane of Johnny J, and Johnny J was known for doing those smooth type of melodies, so that's what we're gonna stick with. Of course, I wanna use an electric piano of some sort, so I got a Dick to Keys put up, and I'm gonna use the Mark I of Crystals. Very nice sounding electric piano. What I love about this preset is, right out the gate, it has a nice touch of reverb on it, a slight hint of delay, so it's like perfect. You don't really gotta tweak anything. Of course, you still can tweak stuff, but I mean, it's nothing much you really have to do to this one. sounding really good, really smooth. Moving on to the bass, guys. This bass is actually gonna have two parts. First half of this bass is almost gonna be like bass licks, and then I wanna say the second half is gonna be that backbone bass, where we add that low end with that bass line. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, but if you look on the screen, I got the Rickenbacker bass put up right here. And this is what I'm gonna do for the first half of the bass. <laughs> kinda of wanna give you guys an idea what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get this laid down. pretty good. So always on this channel you guys hear me say anytime I think about something smooth I think about that electric piano and that's true. But another sound that really grabs me and makes me think of the 90s also is that smooth 90s R&B lead. That sign lead and that sign lead is right here in Roland Xenology. It's called the sign lead 4 and man it's just I mean it's just naturally smooth. So this is what we're about to utilize, and I think this is definitely going to enhance this track just that much more, taking it to another level. Ooh, wrong note, y'all. Good lord, that was like way off. I think I wanted to go there, I think. Do some 
stacking. And of course the stacking we got to do is, we got the electric piano. I want to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a modern upright piano right here in Addictive Keys, just to enhance that sound. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the house keys. I use this one a lot, this preset, just because it's very bright. It'll probably sound like a broken record. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, I always talk about this house keys and how bright it is, but that's what it is. So we're going to go ahead and play those same exact chords. And hopefully this makes it sound good. So let's go ahead and do that. <music> something about the presence of that brighter sounding piano that's why i always go to it like if i really want to enhance a track and i want that piano to stand out without being so overpowering over another instrument i feel like this is like that perfect one that'll sit just right in the mix real quick let's go ahead and add us some guitar licks in here and of course we're going to be using contact evolution hollow body blues and this is like a simple filler just to add a little more ice into it so let's go and do this <music> It's sounding very solid so far, but we still need to go ahead and add a string section in here. I'm not sure about adding any background strings. I think just like a nice, you know, lead string in here, here would just suffice, you know, good enough for it. But uh, anyway, we got Holly on put up and I got the ensemble strings and I'm going to lay down a simple pattern like this. section right here is kind of bothering my ears. Let me run that back. sound much better. All right, guys, so what we're about to do now is I wrote some lyrics down. Everything I wrote down, I try to envision, you know, Tupac saying it. The AI website called Vocal, and basically you record your voice, and then you upload it, and then you pick the person you want it to sound like, and then they'll give you a stem file of it, basically. So I got these lyrics right here. I'm gonna do a quick run now of what I wrote, but I try to, like I said, I try to think of what Tupac would say. So I started off, I said, why you hesitating? Is it my thug lifestyle that's got you contemplating? On this information, meditating my conversations. I know I live real wild, but we get one life to lead, so let me make you smile. So that's the first half of it. I got a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna record this, then I'm gonna run it through the AI thing and turn it into the whole Tupac thing. But also in the process, I'm gonna go ahead and get the drums tracked out and everything. And I may pitch it up maybe like one semitone just to kind of see what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna add that vocal on top of that. So let's go and do this. All right, guys, so real quick before we started, I did add a hook in there. It's a very simple one. I wanted to make it feel like a more complete song, so y'all gonna hear a hook in there, and I did speed it up about two semitones instead of one, I think. But anyway, let's go and check it out. Inside of this dirty day Lord knows can you feel my pain 
Alright guys, so that wraps up this beat making video. I do hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie, that AI stuff is like really creepy. The fact that you can take your voice and transform it to somebody else's but anyway, I think it came out amazing, man. I think adding that hook in there really did it. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you do, because I will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking with your man, Big Boy Tracks, right here at the Producer's Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Enemies wanna see me locked in the cell.